Today, we'll be doing exponential graph. The last graph of functions. Okay? So, check. Exponential graph, it is the one that will be dealing with what? Exponents. So, it is given by the general equation. Y, it is equals to A times B to the power of X. You see? Exponents. Not to the power of 2. Not X squared. No. To the power of X. Okay? Plus what? Plus Q. So, this is the uh, exponential graph equation. Okay? Where A is the what? Vertical shift. Okay? I hope you know vertical up and down. Okay? And then uh, B, it is the what? The constant. B, it is a constant. Any number. And then Q, it is the what? The Y asymptote. Or rather, I can say what? The horizontal line. I need to know what is the y asymptote. It is a horizontal line that cuts the y as the y axis horizontally. It cuts the y axis horizontally. That's why they are saying the y asymptote. It is the line that cuts the y axis horizontally. Can you see that? That is the value of q. Okay. So let's check the different graphs now. I want to show you something there. So we have the first graph whereby b it is greater than one or maybe you can say positive which is also called the increasing function so it can be y is equals to b to the power of x and then it can be represented like this and then here's my uh, graph it's like this it's now increasing you see i'm done and then this is what my y this is what my x for example it can be y is equals to the to the power of x done it is positive it is greater than one be careful there so when you are saying our graph is now our b which is our constant it is greater than one it means good it can be two three whatever they have okay let's check the second one right now but this one it is not b is less than zero is not is less than one or whatever no check this one it is saying b it is between zero and one you see b it is between zero and one I hope you get the difference there. Che so check. It is co also called the decreasing function. So you're not, it is represented like this. You see? Yeah, I hope you can understand. This, this is the main thing there. So this one it is just like that. It is a what? Decreasing graph. Okay? For example, it can be, e.g., it can be y is equal to half to the power of x. Check. Is half between is half greater or less than one? Half it is between zero and what? And one cause it is zero, zero comma five and one, which is what? One over two. So this is how your graph must be. If they are saying your equation it is half x, your equation must be like this, which is what a decreasing function. But if you see yourself uh, uh, getting a graph like this, or at least they said your graph is what's close to 3 to the power of x. Nobody did something wrong there because this one it is for a increasing function, this one is for what decreasing function. So, exponential graph a it is the vertical shift, b it is a constant, any number, q it is the y asymptote which cuts the, the y axis horizontally. And then, mind you, we have the first graph whereby our b is greater than one. It means good, the graph is gonna good, it's what going. Up, it is an increasing function which is positive but now the second one it is what whereby our b it is between 0 and 1 for example i voice cost to half x half it is between uh, 0 and 1 about so that's how it be it is so let's check more things i want to tell you something render so you must know this now you're going to be doing about our reflections so reflection In the y axis, okay, only you see, only that's why I wrote it in caps, only applies to exponential graph, only applies to exponential graph, okay. So that's why it is. Let's check for example, I have y squared to 2 to the power of x, but I'm gonna check, I want to show something. I need to this is y is equals to 2 to the power of x. So, it's going to be like this. 
Okay? So check. I need to know what my graph value value is like this. Because it is an increasing function. But what if I want to reflect it? It is going to be what? Something like this. Yeah, Which is going to be the same as, as what? Y squared 2 minus 2 to the power of x. Yeah, but? So the reflection in the y axis only applies to the exponential graph. Let's check um another one. Let's just say, Lana, I have y squared 2, 1 over 2 to the power of x. And it is going to be looking like this. So if you want to reflect it, it is going to be what? something like this. So you have to be careful there. You have to be be careful. So now let's move. Um uh, the rules for sketching. So the rules for sketching. The first thing that you must do, you write down the y asymptote. So the y asymptote and draw it using a dotted line so you know a y asymptote it is the what the horizontal line that moves like this yeah bon? this is the y asymptote it cuts the y axis horizontally so you determine the the y asymptote which is easy but number two find x and y intercept find x and y intercept okay and then you know most x intercept you let y squares to zero y intercept you let x squares to zero done yeah, bon? that's how it is and then number three you draw the graph because for an exponential graph you have to have the y intercept and the x intercept and the asymptote you are done so the reflection is in in the y axis only applies to the exponential graph and then the rules for sketching the first thing that you must do, you must determine your y intercept, your y, your y asymptote, which is the what? The horizontal dotted line. So it cuts your y axis horizontally. This is a y asymptote. And then number two, you find your x and y intercepts. Where your x intercept, you let your y squares to zero and y intercept, you let x it is equals to zero because this is the y intercept, this is the x intercept. Number three, you sketch. That's what it is. Okay. So exponential. You have your dotted line there. And then what you do? You have maybe the y the y value, the x value. Then you do what? You sketch. You are done. You don't need many things. Okay. So it's easy. It's easy, guys. Let's check an example. Okay. Before an example, let me do the last thing. Range. I need to know what the range it is the set of what? Y values. So check. For an Increasing function, it is something like this. I need to have one it is increasing. You are simply saying, gonna, you, whereby my a is greater than zero and my b is greater than one. Okay, so your range, you're gonna say, why it is greater than q. Do you know why I'm saying that? Check. Let's say I have my graph there, ne? and then I have my asymptote there. Because obviously, your graph must be close, must move close to the asymptote, but not touch it. So, my graph will be something like this, and then what? Go up. That's why I'm saying my y it is greater than my q. The q it is the asymptote. That's why they are saying this one it is greater than the q. Okay. Let's check the second one whereby it is something like this. It happens. My a it is greater than zero, and my b is greater than one. It's not stressing. Okay. Wait. I made a mistake there. My a it is now less than zero, and my b it is what greater than one. Okay, so which will be what my y is what now less than q because check uh, this uh exponential graph moves close to the asymptote, so the asymptote is always close, the asymptote is always close to the graph, and I cannot say my asymptote is this side, so no, the graph must move either above or beneath your asymptote. So this time around, my asymptote it is what above the graph so let's check the second one let's check the, the domain now the domain which is what the set of x values so for the domain which is something like this for an increasing function you know most a is greater than zero or b is greater than one so this one is easy guys you just have to say x element of 
real numbers you get a two marks or one one mark whatever and then for this one you know my a is less than zero my b is greater than one same thing x element of real numbers you are done you get your two marks guys so this is how it is if your graphite is positive, you simply say y is greater than q. If my graphite is negative, y is less than q. And then for the domains, guys, you just simply do that, okay? So let's check an example. Okay, guys, here's my graph I'm given. They're saying f of x is equal to a to the power of x. The first thing I'm going to check my graph, okay? Check my graph. This graph is like this. It's a decreasing function already. So the first question they're saying, determine the coordinates of a. So what are you going to do there? The first thing that you must check, at A, A it is in the y-intercept, and I know it at A, x it is to what? Zero. And then you put your, you know almost f of x is the same as y. So I'm going to do what? y it is equals to a to the power of x, but what? x it is equals to zero. So it's going to be y is equals to a to the power of zero, which is the same as one. Therefore, my coordinates for a is what? Zero for x and one for y. You are done. Okay? Number two. How can we tell that the uh, the value of x is between 0 and 1? Check now. The value of x, which is this one. Because the graph, it is a what? A decreasing function. A function and a graph is the same thing. So I can say decreasing function. Okay? Because, you know, I told you a decreasing function, it is like this. And an increasing one is like that. Number three. Find the coordinates, find the value of A if the coordinates of B it is 3 and 1 over 27. So, for this one, you must use the point you have to get A in an equation. So, I'm going to write my y is equal to A to the power of x part where? At 3 and 1 over 27. Okay? So, this is what my x value, this is what my y value. So, where there is x, I put 3. Where, by, where there is 1 over 27, I put what? Where there is y, I put 1 over 27. So, it's going to be... 1 over 27, it is equals to 8 to the power of what? 3. Okay? Marachega, guys. I want to remove this uh, this cube here. How can I remove it? I will cube root both sides. I need to know what if you, you have something like a squared is equals to 4. You do what? You will square root because you know what a square root is the same as what? 1 over 2. But lana is what? 2. These 2 and that 2 are going to be eliminated because... Out, out, outside the square root, there is 2, so they are going to be eliminated. But for this one, I'm going to keep root 1 over 27, and then 8 to the power of 3, keep root. This 3 will cancel that, and it will be 8. This equals to what? What is keep root of 1 over 27? It must be 1 over 3. Therefore, 8 is equals to 1 over 3. Okay? You know what my it is what? 1 over 3x. And at the same time, you know what he, my 1 over 3 is between what? 0 and 1. It's convincing, right? And then number 4, what do you do? Uh, they are saying determine f of x. If f of uh, determine h of x. If f of x is reflected above the y-axis. <coughs> so, f of x, ne, it is equals to what? 1 over 3x. But man, they want what? h of x. So, it's going to be what? Uh, 1 over 3 minus x because reflected about the y axis and then manji therefore my h of x will be what 1 over 3 minus x because it has been reflected don't forget that guys that's how you kill these questions so let's check the second uh, set of questions which are different from this one whereby so we will sketch and then we'll be done with exponential Okay, guys, let's check the last ones now. Check, I'm given f of x is equal to 4 to the power of minus x and then minus 2. Already I know what minus 2 is what? The q, it is the asymptote, okay? And then, manje, the first question, find the x and the y intercept. Ah, my cake. x, I'm going to shorten things, ne? Int. So, y is equal to 0, so it's going to be y is equal to 4 to the power of minus x minus 2. Where there is why I put what? 0. 0 it is equals to 4 to the power of minus x minus 2. Take that 2 to the other side. So it will be what? 2 it is equals to 4 to the power of minus x. And then what do you do? Change 4 to its simplest value since it is exponent to make same basis. 2 it is equals to 2 to the power of minus 2x. I'm not going to do uh, my math because I need it is 2 to the power of uh, 
minus x but what times 2 so it would be minus 2 times x which is what minus 2x and then same basis they are being eliminated but lana left it one so it's going to be what 1 is equals 2 minus 2x therefore my x it is equals to what negative 1 over 2 okay that's how it is i hope you know how you got it because i can't be busy wasting my time so the y intercept y is equals to 0 so y is equals to 4 to the power of minus x minus 2 y intercept x is equals to 0 i'm sorry x it is equals to 0 so y it is equals to 4 to the power of minus 0 minus 2 anything to the power of 0 it is the same as 1 so 1 minus 2 it is what minus 1 you can write down your coordinates if you want 0 minus 1 uh, minus 1 over 2 and 0 and then 2.2 .2, number 2 find the equation of the asymptote guys i'm already given there so my y is equals to minus 2 because the 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 asymptote is what q number 3 you do what a uh, you do what sketch so let me i'll do a small nyana graph here first thing first determine your asymptote marit is minus 2 so it will be somewhere around here we need the graph and then what is my point the y value is minus 1 there and then the y value is what o minus half again okay so let's continue so and no my graph must go close to the line of asymptote but not touch it and then here it is i'm done with my graph and i'm gonna label my y is equals to minus 2 and then my j this is minus 1 this is minus 1 over 2 you are done guys this is your f of x I hope you understand now okay let's move let's move i know you can say hey you see four what dot guys remember remember two to the power of minus one it is what one over two so four to the power of minus x it is the same as what one over four x one over four it is between zero and one don't forget that because this is a decreasing function okay and then manje number four Find the range. Hi ah, guys. The range. It's easy. I have minus 2 there. So my y, it is what? Greater than minus 2. I told you. And then what? Number 5. Determine g of x if f of x is shifted 2 units upwards. So what am I changing there? I'm just changing the what? The y value there. So I need to have my f of x, which is what? 4 to the power of what? Minus x. And then minus 2. But they said what? 2 units upwards. So I'm gonna say plus two. Therefore, uh, my uh, g of x it is equals to what? Four to the power of minus x. Okay. So guys, this is how you do it, guys. The x intercept will let y equals to zero, and then I got my answers minus half. I wrote my coordinates. Y intercept will let x is equals to zero. Anything to the power of zero is one. So one minus two is what? Minus half. They are saying the equation of the asymptote already. I have it on the uh, equation. I'm sorted. Now material you sketch. Draw your asymptote, put your points, and then you do what you sketch. And as you can see, this is a what decreasing function. But I don't have to worry because my equation is what 4 to the power of minus x. 4 to the power of minus x can be taken as what 1 over 4 to the power 1 over 4 x because of this minus. I need to know what 2 to the power of minus 1 is the same as what 1 over 2. So same thing. The 1 over 4 is between 0 and 1. And then the last thing, thing the last thing, oh, find the range. Oh y is greater than minus 2 because my minus 2 is what beneath the graph and then five uh, two units upward which is that one g of x so you just add what the y values there then you get my answer okay so this is how you do exponential graph i hope you enjoyed guys i hope you enjoyed so we'll be doing more question papers thanks